The SBC has been a blend of at least a dozen different tribes of Baptists. If you think every Baptist thinks like you, you're mistaken. What we share in common is a mutual commitment to the inerrancy and the infallibility of God's word and to the great commission of Jesus Christ. No one is asking any Southern Baptist to change their theology. I'm not asking you to agree with my church. I am asking you to act like a Southern Baptist who have historically agreed to disagree on dozens of doctrines in order to share a common mission. Since Southern Baptists have always allowed disagreement on doctrines, of, including the essential doctrines of salvation, why should this one issue cancel our fellowship? In 2013, when the Calvinists were under fire, Baptists agreed to disagree and the split was averted. Now, 10 years later, will we treat egalitarian Baptists with the same grace we showed the Calvinist? We should remove churches for all kinds of sexual sin, racial sin, financial sin, leadership sin, sins that harm the testimony of our convention. But the 1,928 churches with women on pastoral staff have not sinned. If doctrinal disagreements between Baptists are considered sin, we all get kicked out. You'll never get 100% of Baptists to agree 100% on 100% of doctrine. That's why our Constitution says that churches must closely identify, not completely identify, with our confession. Now, the Baptist faith and message is 4,032 words. Saddleback disagrees with one word. That's 99.9999999999 in agreement. Isn't that close enough? Al Mohler, who for some reason gets to speak twice and do the rebuttals, claims the phrase, the office of the pastor is limited to men, that that also includes every staff position too, and somehow it also prevents any woman from teaching. But I was able to contact about half, over half, of the original drafting committee of the Baptist Base Message 2000, and seven of them told me Al was wrong. In fact, before the vote on the 2000 Baptist Faith and Message, even Al in his hometown newspaper said it didn't limit women from being assistant pastors. Go read it in the Courier Journal. If this precedent is set, Southern Seminary will have to change the name of the Billy Graham School since Billy Graham trained women pastors at our global training events and he endorsed the preaching ministry of his daughter saying Anne is the best preacher in, in the Graham family. 